Hello there. Um, I thought uh, today we would talk about uh, some of the 3D printing equipment that we uh, used in the construction of the car. Um, basically, we have um, this was our first printer. Uh, it's from Quidi. It's an X Pro. The nice thing about a printer like this is it has an enclosure, has a heated bed, uh, which is pretty important for doing uh, most of the 3D printing uh, that you might do. And um, it, this allows me to do uh, other materials like ASA, ABS, uh, carbon fiber filled uh, nylon. Um, so that's what I use for a lot of the interior parts and parts that are not going to be covered in carbon fiber. Uh, in addition, uh, I use that one to say print the headlight buckets um, these are uh, done in ABS. Uh, the uh, running lights are actually done in PETG. Uh, that's a good material for um, the light uh, emission properties. Uh, it scatters the light very nicely. These are filled uh, with LEDs. Um, we also have uh, LEDs for the turn signals uh, that you can see here. These particular parts were just uh, skinned in uh, carbon fiber Kevlon, Kevlar. They will also be uh, skinned with another layer after smoothing them out. Kind of the workhorse uh, would be this uh, printer here. Um, this is a uh, Creality uh, CR10S. Um, it's a very nice printer. It's just been cranking away this this printer was running 24 7 basically when we were doing all the body panels uh, printing them out and uh, so this one I highly recommend uh, they're available at Amazon and they're relatively inexpensive the nice thing about this is, is that it has uh, two Z screws which help keep the accuracy um, for the system it's a uh, relatively easy to use interface um, so this is a great uh, 3D printer uh, to have and this is the PLA that I used for all of the body panels. Um, again, available from Amazon and it's about $18 a kilogram. Um, I keep a lot of the other materials here, ABS, PETG, um, I have various different uh, styles. I've got transparent. I've got um, uh, solids. Um, so this is a very uh, diverse set of materials uh, that we use for uh, these printers. And this is uh, basically where we do all of the printing uh, for the body. So we also uh, do a lot of glue ups down here. So I have a little table where we have some clamps and whatnot, um, and this is, uh, we make the panels down here and then we move them upstairs into the garage where they're skinned or encapsulated. Um, some of the other parts that we're making, uh, these are the bases for um, the uh, side mirrors, which you can see here. We have one side mirror that is uh, in uh, in process. Um, so we've done the encapsulation and then we've done some skinning on it and obviously we have some cleanup to do. Um, but it'll also be a rotating uh, piece so that you can push it out of the way so people don't break it off. Um, obviously we're, we have some mechanism uh, issues to address here so that this is a nice smooth um, type of uh, rear view mirror and then these are the base plates that will go on here for uh, attaching to the door. Um, we've also printed out uh, from time to time uh, these were hinges that I wanted to test out for the door um, so we print, printed some of those out. Um, we've got scoops and things like that that we've printed out so we also print out a lot of test pieces um, as well for doing uh, the work uh, with the uh, 3D prints. So a lot of 3D printing going on. Um, these are 
basically the two uh, printers that I really love to use. Um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and comment below. Um, thanks for watching.